but we just had one of those Florida rainstorms come through and everybody's coming back in wet, including this crew right here. So mom's gonna approach the dock and it looks like daughter's gonna head to the front and try and get it ready. Mom leaves the helm, she goes for the grab. Risky move, but she's able to get a hold of the dock and get it on. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp, and today we are down here visiting Boynton Beach. So the boys are coming back in from a day of fishing. Let's see how they do as they approach the dock. So Cap's gonna make a hard portside turn back toward the dock, coming in a heavy bow forward. Got his buddy in the bow on the ready. Gonna push off the concrete. His buddy almost goes over. Almost, he's able to hang on. That was close. I thought he was gonna fall right into the concrete barrier for a moment or possibly go overboard, but the boys are able to hang on and they'll get this one put up. So I'm curious to see how our guy does as he tries to back this one down. Um, our crew, how do I say this politely? They were looking like they were enjoying themselves today. And they came in on the boat. So taking his time, definitely pulling way up into the parking lot. And starts his approach back. And the struggle starts early. <laughs> Already... I don't know why he pulled so far up into the parking lot. When I saw him go that far, I was thinking, oh, that's going to make it a little bit of a tough challenge for him. But here we go. Second attempt. And Boynton Wobble in full effect as they try and get this trailer back down. Got to be careful getting awfully close to the dock with the trailer. Gonna have to bring it back harder than that, bro. Really close to the dock. And gets it turned right at the last second. But this is gonna make for an awkward spot up here with the truck, because he's not got a lot of room to work. And so far, so good. Kind of impressed right here at the end. And, but he looks a little confused on what he's gonna do. Oh, oh, oh! It's the dock with the truck. As they're trying to back the trailer down, it looked like he just got a little confused right there at the end with which direction he wanted to carry the wheels. And this is an odd approach too. I probably would have pulled forward just a little bit and just leveled it right out. And there we go, yep. Light bulb, like, yeah, just let me pull this one forward. Get myself a little room to work. Bringing it back down slowly. Turning it in toward the dock, but I think they'll be good here. And able to try and get this thing loaded. So our crew's making their approach in. Cap leaves the helm, goes for the dock grab. But they're gonna have to pull this one forward. It looks like they're gonna get offered an assist from somebody on the dock. So the lady tried to grab his hand and he's like, no, give me the line. But their man, their line is a naughty mess. <laughs> Not a naughty mess in a good way either. Just a big old knot. And now my guy instantly on the dock has that look of regret. Like, oh man, I tried to help the wrong crew. So they continue to pull the line out. And our guy's gonna try and untie it for him. Good man. I probably wouldn't have done that. I would have grabbed that line, pulled him over, and been like, here you go. I'd have just tied it up onto a cleat and let them figure it out. But he helps him get it over, and they should be good to roll at this point. And 
our naughty mess crew going to load on the trailer. Got it lined up. And kind of misses and slides back off. And gets it up on the second attempt. What is our... Uh, uh. So for those of you who watch these channels and say, Man, I'd never own a boat. I don't want to back a trailer up. There is an option for you to still get on the water. And this guy, I believe, is about to show you that path because he doesn't have a trailer. And he's just going to let the girls and himself try and load this right into the bed of the truck. I mean, it's definitely one way to get it done. You'll save a little extra money. You don't have to register a trailer. You don't have to pay insurance on a trailer. You don't have to buy a trailer. And, you know, just maybe a little extra wear and tear on the vehicle because you're going to back it a little deeper into the salt water. So there they go. They're going to get the bow up. you got to be careful because the stern's going under the water right there. And that's not what you want. But it's still a slick idea. The funny thing is, is just even by him doing this, the people on the boat next to him are asking him about it. So let's see if him and the ladies can get it up there. It's still a heavy boat. And our girl in the back looks like she's struggling a little bit. And we're going to get one other person to come over here and help. The guy gets into the bed of the truck trying to pull it up. Gets a little assist from another friend over here. <laughs> I mean, it might have been easier just to take the motor off. I don't know if he leaves that on or not. But, I mean, you could definitely just unhook that and probably save a little extra weight on the stern of the boat. But they'll go ahead and strap it down and I mean actually pretty impressed they got it up there I mean they've got coolers gear all kinds of stuff motors there's got to be fuel in there and battery for the trolling motor and they got it up and they're going to get out of here and speaking of getting out of here we're going to get out of here as well thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps if you did please check out our other content we have Wavy Boats who does a bunch of great things down at the inlet my channel Broncos Guru do some great comedy boating videos there as well and of course we got Boats vs. Hallover where me and a machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet and if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.